Hey, it's Tom and Mike from Take Time to Travel. Santorini is an incredibly picturesque island with its many charming whitewashed buildings hanging over the edge of the cliffs in the capital of Fira and of course Ia. But these places can be very expensive to stay. So today we're going to show you the phenomenal deal we got on our Santorini cave villa which is located just a short 10 minute walk from Ia in the cute little village of Phoenicia. My name. I'm going to show you around the cave villa that we're staying at. And while we're in Santorini for a few days, let just close this door. So this door that you just came in, we enter into a courtyard and just these beautiful flowers. Not sure what kind they are here around the, the door and check out the color of these doors. I love them. So as we come in here, you immediately get a view of this huge church that's up in behind us and the palm tree which is absolutely beautiful and there's pots of plants and everything as we walk along now this whole terrace here is for our use so it's all walled all the way around and just from here you can see up above we're built into the cliff so there's like a walkway up on top and we see people walking by all the time Phoenicia is very small very narrow walkways all the way around you can't drive a car down in here so come on in a little bit further and on the one side we have a, a table and four chairs and then there's like bench seating all the way along the side of the wall and in a little bit further on this side we have a couple of loungers nice big umbrella cast a little bit of shade it gets really hot in here during the day and then again we've got these beautiful blue doors that enter into our cave and on the other side, we've got a couple of decorative jugs and just makes for a really beautiful entrance and a nice private courtyard to spend some time. So let's head inside and I'll show you around the cave. Inside these doors, come on in Mike. And I'll shut these behind us so that the sunlight doesn't affect the picture. So as soon as you come in, on the right hand side, you'll find a small kitchen area and we'll start over on this side in this niche. They've got a one burner hot plate. There's a microwave and a kettle. And we've got a coffee maker and a really big stone sink here. And then down below there is a mini fridge. And on the shelves behind, we've got some dishes and glassware. There's a couple of pots and pans down below. And then directly across from this area has a table and four stools to sit at. And then in behind that on the wall, you can see the big screen TV hanging there. And it's on one of those brackets that you can adjust it for the living area or here in the kitchen. And then, I don't know if you can see this very well up above, Mike, but it's got like this huge hole cut up into the cave. And there's a window that lets the light shine down inside, light up the center of the cave a bit. Back into here is the living room area. And it's got a couple of built-ins around the side with lots of blue velvet cushioning. And there's coffee tables, a couple of stools to sit on. And then across from that, on this side, there's a niche built into the cave wall. And it's got some decorative jugs hanging on the walls. And then also a few more over in this area here in another niche. And then right in behind the living room area is the bedroom. And it's got a queen size bed in here that's been really comfortable. Either side, there's some night lights and a couple of plug-ins to charge up your phone. And on the left-hand side is a small closet area. So we've got a few of the clothes that we brought over with us hanging up in there. And then there's this sort of nook that's carved into the wall and another jug and a few more decorative items. So we'll head back through the living room and around the table and chairs. And then on this side, carve the doorway into the cave here and open up these blue doors. And it's a little low here, into the bathroom area. So as soon as you walk in, you see another stone sink and a mirror and some shelving all the way along. And then over on this side is a beautiful shower. And it's got a nice big rain shower head and the water pressure is really amazing here. So 
I really enjoyed that shower. And right next to it, in through this way, is the toilet area, it has its own door. And back around here, love the way they've done the stone around the doorway. And we've been able to stay here for four nights. We've got an amazing deal to be able to stay in one of these caves. So it's been really unbelievable. We even got a bottle of champagne for our stay, which we very much enjoyed on our beautiful terrace. And while we were out there, this super friendly cat came over to spend some time with us and soak up some affection. I think she stayed out here with us for like an hour or more. We absolutely loved our time here at the cave villa, especially this massive patio, and its location in Phoenicia was perfect for us since it was away from the crowds in Ia, but was still centrally located, so we could walk over to Ia whenever we wanted to, in just 10 minutes. We would 100% absolutely love to stay here again, and would really appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. We have more Santorini videos coming soon, including lots of amazing restaurants. And remember, take time to travel. Catch you on the next one.